Dad or a love family or food channel. Today we're going to make an, probably a lot of people's favourite for picnics, for snacks, for you know little tea parties, whatever you want to use them for, sausage rolls. Yeah, we can all buy sausage rolls. There's nothing worse than buying a cold, already cooked sausage roll with soggy pastry. I'm going to show you how to make fresh, simple sausage rolls, nicely flavoured, really quick and easy to do. So, I've got a couple of ingredients there. I'll just go through them bit by bit, and like I say, if you don't want them in there, you don't have to have them in there. These are just standard for this, this recipe, what I think goes nicest in. So, firstly ground pepper, black pepper, sage. Now, it's a beautiful herb, it's sage, really easy to grow and fantastic with pork. Eggs, I'm just going to use an egg to bind it. I'm going to use another egg for egg wash. Um, I've got a couple of little seasonings here. This one's onion granules. The reason that you won't put fresh onions in there is, you know, it's not something it's, you associate a sausage roll with it quite smooth. So this can get an onion, a good onion flavour into it, but without making it, you know, chunky bits of onion in it. And a tiny bit of garlic powder, like I discussed before. Garlic puree, all of that's great. Probably better with sauces, but when it comes to meat, for getting flavour into meat, garlic powder's the best because it's easy to distribute. And some, just some normal flake salt, but you can use table salt, it's absolutely fine. Puff pastry, everybody can find recipes for puff pastry, can have a go at making it their own. But like I said, it's quick and easy, and the brilliant products now, there's no point in making your own if you don't have to. So, we've got frozen, ready to roll, puff pastry, really easy, really simple. Just take it out, let it defrost, keep it in bag so it doesn't dry out until you're ready to use it. The meat for today, you can do a beef sausage roll if you want to or chicken sausage or whatever you want, but today we're going to do a pork one. And what we've got is a 20% fat. So, we've got 20% fat, uh, pork fat in there and 80% pork mince, basically. The other way you can do it is by getting a lean pork mince and some sausage meat and just mixing them together 50-50. Then that's absolutely fine because you've got a, a higher quantity of fat in your sausage meat anyway, so that'd be fine. But today, I've just got 20% fat. So, what we're going to do straight away is I'm going to get this bowl, get this pork, and there's about 400 grams there, and it's you know it's just about three pounds, and that's going to do you know a decent size sausage rolls or a little mini, plenty of little mini sausage rolls. That's absolutely fine. So what we've got to do is get this pork in there first. I'm just going to get one of the uh, spoons. I'm just going to squash the pork down. The reason we're going to do this. Is because we want to get all those seasonings evenly distributed. So what I'm going to do is just squash it with back here, your spatula, and just leave that there. So salt. Now for salt, that's probably one teaspoon, two teaspoon, and a bit. It looks like there's a lot, but there's a lot of meat there, and, and you need more salt than you think you do. Garlic granules, that is purely your choice. If you want garlic granules in, you can put them in. If you don't, if you like a bit more or a bit less, that's up to you. But for a standard flavour, I'm going to put about one and a half teaspoons in there. And exactly the same with the onion granules, about one and a half teaspoons. And the pepper, not quite a good amount of pepper, so probably a good eight or nine full turns of pepper in there because it's really finely ground. I'm just going to put that to the side for two seconds while we get the sage out. Now sage is really, really strong. I wouldn't recommend use, using dry sage, to be honest, because it's really strong as dried sage and it can be a bit bitter. But all you want to do is just you see all the sticks on that side. But well, we don't really need those, but what we're going to do is just roll it up into like a cigar shape. Do, do it with a, the way that's best for you. This is why we use these kind of knives, because they're, uh, they've got a rocking action and I'll show you that. Now, obviously, I've been cutting a long time and I will get a knife skills video up for you. But, just, you can either saw them like that, but the best way I do is just a little rocking action. If, you, if you're worried about cutting your fingers, just take your time. Just do a little bit, bit by bit. 
But for, for the process of this, I'm just going to do it how I normally would. Right, and we don't want those end bits. There's my bin there. So, do that one. So, once we've done that, I'm just going to put his hand on top of the knife, hands it completely away from the blade, and just give a little rock action over the top. And all we're doing with that is we're just making it a lot, the, the herbs a lot finer, so they go nice and, nice and even through his meat. Scrape them up into your hand, into your bowl, and into that, all I'm going to do is add one small to medium sized egg, and that's purely just to bind it. But when you cook it, it sort of the egg will cook and it, it gives it a nice lighter uh, texture to it. So I'm going to fold it all into the middle, and this is where it gets messy now. So I fold it all into the middle, and here's, here's my tip. Once you've done that and you fold it all into the middle, take your spoon out, run your tap because you're going to put your hands in here and when you go to your tap, you're not going to touch anything. So you're going to get, you know, pork all over. So just do a little steady flow on your tap. And we're just going to get your hand in there, mix all that together. It's going to be a bit sloppy until everything's moved in together, worked in together, but that's absolutely fine. Keep it moving together. Some people have breadcrumbs to this, but you don't. I know I do it for meatballs, but it's a different texture we want in from this. We've just got more, more high fat than when you do your meatballs. You don't want your bread in there. So you can see now once the eggs start to bind, it's starting to come together in a ball now. And you can see it's not as sticky as what it was straight away. You can see all those herbs are all distributed. So now you've got it in a ball like that, and wash your hand off. Wash your hands off. Very important. Don't want to transfer raw meat to everything. So once they're off, you put your spatula there. I'm going to put the meat to the side. So over there. And then we'll be bored. We'll move this to the side as well. So we can get a puff pastry out. Before it's on your parchment, keep it on your parchment, nice and gentle when you unravel it. Now, you can see, if you just come closer, the width of the pastry, that will be the length of your sausage roll. And then you, you could cut it down in the middle, but I have a little tip of doing it. So, what you do is get your knife and you go. Straight down the middle of the pastry, like that. Straight through your paper at the other side. Like and then roll that one up. Like that. Just leave that there. And we'll start with this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to make them individually, roll them, and I'll show you. How to do it, it's a good little trick. So, I've got his meat here. Now, what I've got under here is a tray, and these silver pack mats are brilliant. If you can get them, you can get them on the internet, get them on eBay, anything like that. But they're really, really good. Paper's good, but it, they, these are unbelievable. And the last phase, if you get a good quality one. Right, so, new spoon. Now, a really good tip, if you've got it, is a piping bag, plastic disposable piping bag. I haven't got any with me, which is a surprise to be fair. So normally I've got lots. But they're brilliant because you can cut the nozzle to the thickness that you want your meat and pipe it on. Super, super fast. But we haven't got that. So what we'll do is to show you the, the other way. So you take a, a, a bit of amount, amount of meat that you think is going to be suitable, which is probably just over two, two tablespoons. Get in, into a bowl in your hand like that, and then just 
rock your hand like that side by side and it'll form like a sausage meat shape. Like that. Place it onto your puff pastry. And just make sure you evenly distribute it all the way to the sides like that. Right, so I've put the sausage meat on there. Now, in another bowl, all I've done is whipped one egg up. Just one normal egg, nothing else in it. And what we're going to do is that's going to be a sealer. So, first you just roll your sausage roll and have a look whereabouts it's going to hit. So, about there. So what we want to do is just get a nice little thin amount of egg over there and just roll your sausage roll to it. Don't want to go too far. And that will seal the bottom of your sausage roll. And all you do then, once you've got it, is nip your sides together like that and just flatten it like that. As soon as you've flattened it, you'll see it squashes at either end. Now, once you've squashed it at either end, just get your knife, sharp knife, and just trim straight down like that and straight down like that on the side. So that just gives you a nice little finish to the end of your sausage roll. No matter if a bit of meat is, is on the end of it, that's absolutely fine. So, once you've done that, just get your, your knife, you want to go through to the meat, just but only just gentle, just a nice little stroke like that, and a, and a diagonal. That's, that's four good little diagonal lines on it there. Now, put that straight onto your baking tray, and then all we're going to do is we're going to repeat this. And then I'll, I'll come back and then you know we'll see where we're at. But when, what what you can do once you've got them in this stage, even though they're raw, you can just freeze them solid like that, completely raw, and then we can you can bake them whenever you need. So what we're gonna do is I'll make them all up and then we'll come back and then we'll put them in the oven. Right, we're back. back. So as you can see, what I've done is a few different sizes just to to give you an idea. So I've cut these into like a snack size one. And so all we did is we just rolled it and I just cut them straight in half. This one's like a medium sized one, this one's just like a little snacky tiny small one. But I've still got plenty of mix and I've still got plenty of puff pastry. So you know, you can still make more. But what I'm going to do is just on a couple of them, I'm just going to put something a bit distant on. So in here I've got onion seeds and nigella seeds and, and, and a few linen seeds. Not everybody's got all this, you know, but you don't, I don't have to do this. It's just a little um, finishing touch. So I've got, I'm just going to put it on, on this one. This one's, just, they're all egg washed. So, just a little sprinkle on there, and they'll stick to the top. Just gives it a bit of something different, something special. So, I'm going to put a little bit of egg wash, uh, a little bit of um, seed on that one. And then, what we'll do is on another one, we'll just get a bit of pepper. We'll just put a little sprinkling of black, of black pepper on there. And then, the other one, what we're going to do is just a bit of that salt that we had before. Just a little tiny in the shape salt. I'm just going to put that little, just a little, little touch, nothing that's going to ruin your thing. And what we're going to do is we'll put it into a 200 degree Celsius fan assisted oven. So you want about gas mark 7, between gas mark 7 and 8, um, and that's going to be probably about 20 to 22, maybe 25 minutes. But if you're in the gas oven, like always, give, just give it a little rotate, just so it's an even cook. You'll see, what you want to do is <clears throat> see that they're an even colour, and when when you take them out, which I'll show you, just give them a little rock, and just make sure that the bottom's cooked, because that's the worst thing for not being cooked. So we'll put that in, and then we'll catch up um, with you in a, in, a, in a little bit, and we'll have a look. Okay, see you soon. So we're back. Sausage rolls are ready. Took about 25 minutes ish to, to, to cook, it's starting nice and golden brown now so we're just going to get them out and have a look underneath and see if, see if they're cooked oh lovely colour so what we'll do is just lift them up and you can see there it's not soggy at all so it's completely cooked just put them down there so we've got all, all the different sizes um, there so we've got this little miniature, miniature one there with his nigella seeds on and there's the one with the little cracked pepper on, as you can see it's a lovely and crispy pastry. This is just a normal one with just a little bit of salt on. 
And then we've got this little miniature one there, which is just nice and plain. So, you can see, nice and simple. What I'm going to do is just spin you around slightly and show you what I've done with the others. And I've put them in the freezer. So, like I was saying, if, um, you, can you reach from that side? Let's have a look. So, what I've done is, I've put in the freezer. And what I've done is, as you can see, just made it into one long one and cut it up. But I've just rested it on the top there so they'll set. And once they're, they're set, then we'll put them in these little silver tubs that are right next to it, like we do on the other episodes. But it's just they'll stick together if you do it when they're when they're raw. So as soon as they're set up, they're starting to set up nicely now. And then we can cook those straight from the mint from the from the freezer. Now they'll be exactly the same temperature, 200 degrees seven, gas mark seven, but they'll take a bit longer because obviously they're fro they're completely frozen. So it'll take about 30 minutes. It's maybe a slightly more. Just have to keep an eye on them, but you can take them out and put them on the tray that you're going to cook them on and defrost them in the fridge by the time you get home just put them straight in and they'll be done so you can see you can play about with different flavours you can put chopped apricots, black pudding, anything you want to put inside of them <clears throat> adapt it to how you want to do if you get any questions about any other things that you can put into it just let me know and, and you know and, and I'll get back to you and we, we can have a look but as you can see beautiful lovely sausage rolls so I'll cut one opening for you now and you can have a look inside So we'll just cut this little one open inside. As you can hear, lovely crisp pastry. Lovely and flaky. Cooked all the way to the centre. Lovely colour, lovely and soft. And it's as simple as that. Let's get cooking, enjoy yourself.